there's no uh, differences in the gene coding sequences that can account for uh, 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 divergence of these species from a common ancestor. Uh, so uh, if it's not the genes, which you know, conventional theory says it's the genes. The genes change and that produces a new species. Uh, well, then it must be the non-coding uh, genetic sequences of the DNA. Uh, so it's not the, 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 the protein coding sequences, it's the so-called uh, non-coding sequences. This, is, th this was oftentimes given the misnomer junk DNA, which is one of the most um, unfortunate uh, name, naming schemes and events of uh, uh, molecular genetics and molecular biology. Uh, and, but sure enough, uh, in that non-coding uh, uh, heterochromatin area of the, the chromosome, of the genetic, uh, of the genome, there is a very interesting element, uh, the ALU retrotransposon, uh, and this is the most abundant gene in the human genome. Uh, there's over a million copies and alleles that, that is different kinds of, of versions of this gene within the human genome. So this one element comprises 10% of the human genome. Th that's more than the, the protein coding sequences. The genes are, are one or 2% uh, uh, of the um, uh, total uh, uh, genome.